today I will be showing you guys all of these clothes. Ooh, my camera just moved. All of these clothes that I found at the thrift store. And I mean, I just don't know why people buy new clothes. You can find such great pieces at your local thrift shop and you know you're helping the environment you're buying sustainably and I just I just love thrifting and I have good news for you if you like any of these items you will be able to purchase them on my Depop so these items are essentially my Depop closet so you'll be able to go um, on my Depop page at Voheme and you can buy any of these beautiful beautiful pieces i hope you guys like it and if you like these types of videos make sure you hit the like button and let me know so i can keep making them okay all right without further ado let's go check out the items these are your perfect mom jeans they are very comfortable they come in a light blue denim they look really nice when you cuff them they're size 10 so they're a little big on me but they're really comfortable This top makes me feel like a freaking artist. The sleeves are slouchy. It is a beautiful vintage treasure from Paris Blues in a size small. You can tuck it in or untuck it. You can also tie it around the waist to make it look a little bit more form-fitting. It is just so cute. This sheen long sleeve top comes in a colorful paisley baroque pattern. It is one of my favorite vintage finds. It features padded shoulders and cute fabric neck and wrist buttons. This top has the cutest bell bottom sleeves and features a rose pattern. I love tucking in my tops, but this one is short enough to look cute untucked and it adds a little, a little movement, I would say. I couldn't find a tag on this one, but from the look of it, it seems like a unique handcrafted piece. It is so long, it almost fits like a dress. I bet it would look really cool with some shorts. But my favorite thing about this top is the neckline. It is freaking unique and beautiful. I love it. These vintage Ann Taylor houndstooth pattern dress pants are completely lined and they look great with any top. I really like pairing them with like other pattern tops. Okay, you can definitely comfortably lounge around while maintaining a put-together look with these stretchy anthropology 100% linen bottoms. They have a super elastic -y waistband that will allow you to stuff your belly at your lunch date with your friends. This flowy skirt screams springtime. It comes in a lovely floral pattern and you can wear it with your favorite bodysuits. It is also a wrapped skirt. I really love wearing overalls, but these are a little more fitted than what I regularly wear. They look more like your regular skinny jean with, with a fun twist. This combo is, to me, it is the Eggplant Boss Lady Suit. It is in a wonderful vintage condition and I love to wear it with extra short crop tops to modernize the look. The pants have double front pleats and a wide leg. The jacket is really nice and oversized. What I like about these suits is that you can mix and match and play around with them. 
For example, here I decided to wear this lovely pastel jacket from Nip and Boutique. It is so sweet and it instantly makes you look a hundred bucks. Going on to the dresses here, I have this lovely floral midi wrap dress with a massive slit and a super low v-neckline. I would recommend you wear short shorts underneath because this one loves to open up a lot. For an even lower neckline than the previous one, here we have this boho long sleeve crocheted romper. This item belongs in a music festival or something. It's just so breathable and fun and different. It is very cute. I love this flowy tie-dye hippie dress. This one is a truly one-size-fits-all piece. It's super fun and playful. This baby doll dress features a quilt-like pattern it has tiny black bows and I love it. And last but not least, I have this wrap silk blend dress. I actually think it's a nightgown, but I like it as a dress. And that is it for today. I hope you guys liked all the pieces. Please let me know and thank you so much for watching.